Hey, thanks for your interest in Office Protect. I'm going to do a walkthrough for you. Hang on to your shorts. It will go very quickly. Uh, you will see everything that is offered in Office Protect, but you may not see it for very long. Let's get started. The idea with Office Protect is to help you raise the level of security for Office 365, and we'll do that in a few major way. As you can see on the screen, the interface allows you to select a tenant and to work on multiple tenants from the same account. It provides you with a dashboard with overall view of what's been happening on this particular tenant. It includes graphics, numbers, recent events, which you should probably act on. And then it will show you also the security settings that you have applied. Let's go to those security settings. This page is meant to guide you through applying best practice security settings to any tenant. The best way to do it is probably to look at our preset profiles. Uh, there's a three in there that cover the wide spectrum of use cases. Low user impact allows you, if you want to not bother the users of Office 365 with security, to apply as good as possible a profile. That may not be enough. We personally recommend our best practices. And that's another profile. And then you have another option, which is max security. In all cases, as you can see, there is a description of what it will do to your account. Uh, there, is a, there are a few examples of who this would apply to. We give you a score on the security impact and we give you a score on the user impact. In all cases, as security experts, we recommend that you go with the as secure a solution as possible. But as always, this is counterbalanced by the convenience of your users. So you can simply make a choice. And when you've made a choice, you click a single button and it will apply all settings. Most users will go to the details below and verify that each and every setting is something that they want to do. For each and every setting, you'll have a name, a short description, a long description. You'll have the current status in your Office 365 and what you want to do here in Office Protect. A good example here is enable multi-factor authentication, which is one that we recommend because it's free and it helps the security. You have a few options. You can apply it to all admins. You can apply it to all users. And in most cases, for all settings, you can choose to ignore it and not modify what you already have. Once you've made your selection, simply click the single button and it'll apply all of those settings according to the template that you choose or the customization that you made. Once it's done, the current setting that is in Office 365 will be updated and you can see the current state of your tenant. Here's the example, three of five accounts have been set because we said to only apply it to all admin. Once you've changed some of the settings and go to custom profile and then you can still apply your security setting in the same way. Don't hesitate to customize, it's a great way to have a very personalized experience. The next thing that you'll do once you have all that configured is monitor your Office 365 tenant. It's good to have security settings, but it's also very good to know what's going on in that tenant. The monitoring page has really two things that you want to decide for each and every event. Uh, the event should be self-explanatory. We try to make the text in each event as clear as possible. For each event, you can choose if you want an alert for it, or if you just simply want it to your, add it to your digest or neither. An alert means we'll send you as fast as possible. We are dependent on how fast Microsoft adds the information to their uh, logs, but the general rule of thumb is about half an hour between the event happening and you getting an alert. In the case of the digest, it will be sent at a regular frequency with all the events that you've chosen to add to the digest. Same thing as for the settings, you can see the name, short description, long description for all event. They are meant to be self-explanatory. We've worked hard on all the text for each of those events for them to be clear and to mean something as far as security for your account. Some of the more administrative may also help you save costs. An example here is sign in from an authorized country, which basically we pre-configured your tenant to allow or to not trigger alerts on sign in from the country from which the tenant is configured. So if you have a, uh, an account in the United States, it will set United States by default, but then you can add other country. And if you have somebody signing in from Germany or Ukraine, it will trigger an alert. You have a few options for your settings. Once you're configured, you can simply hit the button and it will save all the settings as far as alert, digest, and where to send the alerts as you've seen. The last part of the product is really the reporting. It's nice to have alerts, but it's good to be able to consult them. Um, it works like any report, you pick dates, and you'll see all the events that Office, uh, Office Protect has identified. For each event, you'll know when they happen, what the event was, which user caused it, the detail, 
and what was the source. Once you have that, you can do two things. You can export it to a CSV if you want to import it in another system. But a more interesting is to send it by email. Sending it by email can be very, very useful if you are um, wanting to share the information with somebody else, either as a partner managing an account or as an end client being an IT person, you want to share it with your boss and you want to show a list of things. So for example, if you have a specific users that have taken action, for example, somebody that was fired, uh, you can filter the list here using search and then send it by email. And then you'll have a specific list of all the things between those two dates that this specific user has done. It's a good way to share information. It's a good way to, to see what has happened. So this is an example of the email that you would receive after sending uh, by email. You will see the types of account, the last time they've happened, and then the detail of each and every event. Uh, when you do the digest, this will look like that as well, where you will get uh, the two dates for the digest and then all the events that have happened. When you get alert, they will look like a single one of those events here in the middle. Thank you for your time. This was a quick overview of what Office Protect can do for you.